been two years since the historic protest in Cuba when hundreds took to the streets calling for a change. And some of the people at those protests coming together in our area today. So let's get right out to Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia. She is live at the event in Northwest Miami-Dade. Annalise. Christy Janice, this is just one of the events happening throughout the day. As part of this anniversary of the uprising we did see on this day in Cuba two years ago, some of the people we heard from earlier were ones that were there protesting on the streets of Cuba that day. It's not tobacco and music and old cards. It's prisoners, torture, suffering. July 11th, 2021, Cubans took the streets on the island protesting for freedom. Thousands of youth went out to the street. And because of that, there are more than 1,800 people in jail, some of them with sentences of 10 and 20 years. Human rights groups say following those protests, close to 1,900 Cubans were detained. More than 780 remain in jail and 911 were prosecuted and sanctioned. Another 90 are in exile. Tuesday marks the two year anniversary. So today we are here to commemorate that, to let those prisoners know that we are with them, that we support them. Monday, members of Congress from both parties taking part in a roundtable all about the future of Cuba. This is about freedom. This isn't a Republican issue. This isn't a Democrat issue. We cannot allow the continued repression. We have to continue to apply sanctions. Also on the wish list, free and fair elections, freedom of expression, the release of political prisoners. But after 60 plus years of a Castro regime and decades of a struggle so familiar for those living here in South Florida, you may wonder what's different now. Something called internet, social media, and famine. Cubans have nothing to eat at this hour. Now, more talk of sanctions providing communications to Cubans on the island and deep concern over the role China seems to be playing in Cuba. This is a serious national security threat to the United States. There is a spy station that China has now set up just 90 miles from where we sit today. So again, this is just one of several events happening today. We did hear uh, from these people today and they will continue meeting today to discuss the wants and needs of the people on the island. I am live in Miami, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.